Hello, my brothers and sisters, my fellow warriors in Christ. I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ on this wonderful day that the Lord has made. And today I am wearing my Princess Warrior t-shirt because we are warriors. We are more than conquerors here on this earth with the spirit of the living God inside of us. So I love you all. Thank you all for all your love and support on this channel. This is the Lord's channel. Thank you for liking it. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for all that you do. All the links you need to know are down below. People do ask where the links are. They're right there. So let's pray. I have an amazing word for us this day. In Jesus name. So Father God, we worship you. We praise you. We give you glory. We give you thanks on this wonderful day that you have made. Father, I ask by your Holy Spirit that you take over me and through your anointing speak words of power, strength, healing and deliverance to your sons and daughters, your mighty warriors. In Jesus Christ's name, amen, amen, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Just tell me where you're watching from. I love reading your comments and how you're doing and I hope that every single one of you will have ears to hear at this time and hearts to receive this and to be strong at this time because that's exactly what the word is for today. It's all about endurance. This year has been a shaky year, a rocky year. I'm not going to go into it if you've been following these videos each week. If you're still here, if you're listening, you'll understand the season and the times that we're in and what God is saying and how he's helping us through his word every single day, every single week. So this is a time to endure. You know, like I said, it's been a very rocky, a very shaky year. Things have been shaken. Things have been purged. The devil has been attacking. But you see, not all of it is the devil. You know, Holy Spirit is working through you and through me. Does either you're walking in the flesh or you're walking in the spirit. And we need to know Holy Spirit even more at this time because he is our guide, our comforter. He is everything that we need. So we need to keep our eyes fixed firmly on the rock, on Jesus Christ, on our savior at this time. Because there's been attacks from the devil lately through the mind, that's why you have to renew your mind with the word of God. You cast down imaginations. You could be sitting there for five minutes and the devil could be implanting little images here and there about somebody. And he's implanting a lie and that's how you can be deceived. It could be anything by someone that you love in ministry, someone in your family, a friend, someone in your job. And he could be implanting lies in your mind. That's why you need to discern what's from God and what's not. Whether you're a new Christian or you're a Christian a long time, this is a time where you need to grow in the Lord. You need to be fully grown in him because things might get a bit more difficult in the near future. So that's why God is preparing us. And I'm gonna bring you the word of the Lord for the new year, maybe next week. I'll post it then. But all through this year, I've said, people are going to fall. People are going to give up. People are going to understand when things get shaken. Oh no, I wasn't firmly rooted in Christ. And you're all over the place. Maybe something happened and your reaction, you're, you just, you've either fallen away or someone in your family, you've, you've lost somebody, something, a job, whatever it may have been this year. If you're still gone, if you're still strong in the Lord, you're listening to this for a reason. And we need to hear the truth, whether it hurts or not. You need to hear the truth to get that darkness, that baggage out that the enemy has trying to be put in through your mind or through situations or circumstances. Because he wants you off course. He doesn't want you to get into your destiny. He doesn't want you to fulfill the plan and the purpose that God has for your life. For every single one of us, there is a plan and a purpose. And you need to figure out what that is. 
but many today through even this year what's happened and what's going on in the news and what's happened in their life many people blame god many people blame others they blame the government they blame somebody or something for things that have happened in their life or maybe their own their own choices that they've made this year you see when things get tough what comes out of you shows what's inside of you and you have choices you can go the right way you can go the wrong way and God offers you a choice choose life or choose death and he says today choose life and he tells us forget the things of the past and move forward that is what this year has been all about is moving forward through the shaking and like I said not all things are the devil some things are God because the Bible tells us that he purges us he gets out the badness the bad fruit the rotten fruit the things that come out of us through difficulties through hard times tribulations when things go wrong because one minute you're a lovely Christian and you love everybody then then something happens something occurs and your response is what has come out of you and then there's consequences to our words to our actions but God is telling us at this time to endure what does endure mean endurance to be patient forbearance persistence keep going even when things get tough even when things don't turn out the way you thought that they were going to turn out tolerance life is a gift that God has given you he commands us to love he tells us to be fruitful and to multiply he has given you gifts and he requires you to do the things with those gifts and those talents so because you're in your destiny you're coming in the Jordan we know what happens after if you read the book of Joshua Joshua was a mighty warrior this is a time for the mighty warriors to stand up now you need to stand up you need to come away from the fleshly ways the ways of thinking the ways of doing things because you're not in the flesh you're of the spirit and there's been so many distractions over the past couple of months people have either given up i'm talking about christians they've come away from ministries or they're hopping from one ministry to another it's causing confusion and then when people rebel when they go wayward when they move away i'm not doing this anymore it's too hard or how has this happened to me they walk into sin i'm not going to say you fall into sin or you allow the devil to do things then you blame God you say it was your parents it was your husband your wife it was this ministry this pastor let me down so that's the reason why I'm in this state I'm in you have a choice you can only blame yourself if you've chosen the wrong way you see when you're going the wrong way God will always warn you it could be a video that you're listening to it could be somebody will say something to you and a stubbornness hard heart won't listen to truth they refuse they listen but they'll say hmm you think you know me you're telling me what to do so we're in the last days where people refuse to listen they want to do their own thing there's evil inventions things are happening we know what's happening in the world the whole control thing but what are you going to do it's a time to stand it's a time to stand for your family for your destiny we look at Jordan when he became the next leader when God said look Moses is dead it's time for you to rise up let's go it's time to move so when we look at Joshua and Caleb and all those with him he went through different battles different battles all the time the same as David there was battle after battle and there's always lessons to be learned when you read the Bible 
of what they went through. But God was always there. Just like I can tell you in my own life this year, very crazy things took place in my own life. All different areas of my life, very shaky, very difficult times. But I can tell you even more where God showed up, where God protected me, God favored me, God opened doors, God blessed me in the midst of complete chaos. God turned up. And then people get into self-pity. They get, uh uh-huh, and they start talking negative over themselves. You even try to do that. When the Holy Spirit is there, he will quickly, what are you doing? Stop. And then people get depressed. They get oppressed because they choose that way. They choose to speak the negative. They choose to look at the situation. You know, even people, when they choose to sin, then everything falls apart. They're sitting there crying and blaming everyone else or having a pity party. So coming to the end of this year, it's time to shake that off of what's happened this year because God is bringing the new out. We're coming into great times of glory. Great times in your destiny, in your life, even in the midst of all the bad things that have happened this year in your own life not just on the news so it's the ability to endure unpleasant times difficult times hardship but let me tell you something this is not a video to say oh come on now i'm going to rub your shoulder and say come on it's okay you need to no i am here to help you To rise up, to understand who you are, the warrior that you are, not the voices that the enemy is saying to you, whether it's in your own head or coming out of your own mouth or through somebody else. The rejection, the loser, the failure, no one loves you. They are lies of the devil. They are the foxes. They are the demons that you don't listen to. The devil brings distractions in many ways through people. It could be someone sent by the devil to distract you. Like I always say, the number one thing is a love interest. That's not from God. To totally take your mind off course or a tempter, a toward person if you're married to someone to come in to shake things. Or your children are lovely and all of a sudden they start hanging around with a certain group, they change. They're sleeping around, they're drinking, they're smoking hash, they're taking pills, they're doing something, their attitude is horrible. Or your spouse has changed, there's fighting in your house. Or you've changed. And you see, God purges us at times to take, he clips back, just like a rose bush or a rose tree, you clip back to let the new grow. That is what God does. So always discern. I'm not saying the other things about your family or your children go wayward. Is God testing you? That's the devil. But I'm talking about things in you. How you react, how you speak, how you behave and the choices that you're making. This is a time to endure. You are more than a conqueror through Christ who loves you. You need to understand that. And I'm going to go into a bit more detail of what's coming in the new year. And always before the new year comes in, the Lord gives me snippets. It's like one thing after another. And it's pretty much the same that he gave me last year. About being strong. About understanding who you are in Christ. Because this is not about you, it's about Jesus. But you need to know who you are. You need to stay in the spirit. You need to resist the devil because that's what he does. He he shakes things as well to take your eyes off who you are. And all of a sudden you're looking at a situation saying, how am I supposed to get out of this? How has this happened? I just lost my job. How am I sick? How has my child gone like this? Why is this person attacking me all of a sudden? Where's my money gone? Or what are you going to do? Just like Joshua, you need to rise up. Remember Joshua fell on his face 
and he was having a pity party and he was crying and God said what are you doing on your face get up get up stop moaning and complaining hallelujah to the Lamb of God we look at Jesus there's a process in this journey in your life your life is totally different to mine I can only give you advice wisdom through the word of God other than that you need to have that relationship with Jesus Christ you need to know him for yourself there are so many voices out there today that are distractions that are completely set on the wrong thing telling you the wrong thing you yourself you need to discern who's from God and who's not and especially the voices in your own self that you're listening to. So we look at Jesus from a child. He's a savior, he is born, he is special. To what happens to him when he grows up, he knows exactly the calling on his life, he knows who he is, but there's a process, there's a time, there's a season before he's put out there before he begins his ministry. Then when he begins his ministry, we see that when he kneels down, when he knows exactly what's coming and he knows it's gonna be hard, he knows it's gonna be difficult, he knows it's gonna be painful, people he love will leave him. Jesus went through everything to the point where he knelt down and said, Father, take this cup away from me it's too hard but not my will be done but yours and then the process to the cross the cross is pain hard difficult sore bloody horrible tiring but he said the right things. He did the right thing. He did the Father's will. But he endured the cross with joy. How can that possibly be? It's like somebody, a man or a woman who has to feed their family. It's totally different. But think about it this way. They have to get a job. And you're, going, you're working so hard. You could be working two jobs. You could be a single mother, single father. You could be by yourself. But you know, I need to do this to eat. I need to do these two jobs, three jobs. You're coming home and you're just working all the time. You're just sleeping all the time to pay the bills. But you're more than a conqueror. God gives you grace in times of need, hardship. He blesses you. He helps you. He sends angels, even in the form of humans, to speak to you, to say something. You endure. You go through things, but you see, you come out stronger. You always come out stronger. If you persist, if you continue, if you move on. The pity party, the blaming others, the sinning because you had unmet expectations because you blamed someone else needs to stop you need to stop whining and you need to get yourself together get a grip and move on sometimes people don't want to hear that because of the stubbornness and we know what stubbornness is it's witchcraft people who refuse to listen no don't tell me what to do you need to take responsibility for your own actions. You see, you look at people as well who absolutely have made the wrong decisions, choices. This is not a message of condemnation or look what you did. Now there's no way out. Of course there is. But this is a time to stop. This year, if you have gone the wrong way, if you know you've made the wrong choices, You've done the wrong things. You just repent. You let go and move on. But you need to focus. So many are distracted on wrong things. 
really wrong things, wrong mindsets, listening to the wrong voice, following the wrong thing. They've come away from something or somewhere where they should be and they're in the wrong place, they're with the wrong people, they're in the wrong position. We even look at David when he was running all over the place, hiding left, right and centre. There's a time when you have to stand, when you have to fight. You need to fight for your family. You need to fight for your marriage. People give up so easily now. All of, we've had 10 fights, we have to get a divorce. Oh well, I'm not talking to this person anymore because... You see, you can try. You can go and speak to someone. But if someone refuses to listen to you, there's times you have to walk away. There's times God will shut a door. But we're also in a time where God has opened a divine door. You need to wait patiently. Don't try to do things by yourself, just like Sarah. I, I want the baby now, I want the baby, so I'll make it happen. And then, like I said, there's consequences. It's like if you have an affair in your marriage. It's going to hurt people. It will hurt your spouse, obviously. It will hurt you. It will hurt your soul. It will hurt your children. And then it will take time to heal and fix things. You need to take responsibility for your own salvation, your own walk, your own destiny. You can try and help someone. That's all you can do is give advice. But you can't spend your life trying to make someone love you or trying to make someone change. That is not your responsibility. This is a time of preparation. Like I said, you've crossed over. We're there now. You've made it. Well done. You're still standing. There might have been tears, pains, screaming all this year, whatever it is. But you're still standing. You need to forgive those who've hurt you. You need to forgive yourself. You need to let go of the past. You need to move on. If you need to join a course, if you need to get your life in order, if you need to lose weight, if you need to apologize to someone, if you need to apply for something, a new job, do it. Look after yourself. Exercise. Simple things like this. Don't get into a bundle and stay in darkness where the devil wants you, where he's talking like this putting you down you're like okay okay that's me that's me yep yeah, yep yeah. poor me god resists the proud but he gives grace to the humble therefore we humble ourselves under the mighty hand of god that he may exalt you in due time at the right time there's a time and a season for everything this year has been shaky rocky hard difficult why do you think god is preparing you for next year We are sober, we are vigilant because our adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, alike, seeking whom he may devour. This is where you need to know who you are because he can flick an arrow like this and, you, and you're crying and you're running to five people for prayer. You're going from prophet to prophet to prophet. Oh no, you're all saying different things. It's all your fault. You need to know Jesus. You need to know the word. You need to rise up. You need to resist the devil. You resist him steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by a brotherhood in the world. People are going through things. Knowing that your brothers and sisters are suffering as well. Going through things, but you're not at a place of suffering. You're not at a place of, oh yeah, I'm trying to get through today, you know. You are more than a conqueror. Understand who you are. Don't let anyone talk down to you. Don't talk down to yourself. Don't listen to the voice of the enemy. And most times he comes in the form of those you love or people around you or a boss or somebody and say, you're not good at this. You're terrible. Give up now. You're not going to make it. Look what you did yesterday. You're not anointed. You're not able to do this. You won't complete it. Of course you will. 
Don't listen to the lies of the devil. But the God of all grace who called you to his eternal glory by Jesus Christ after you've suffered for a while, he'll perfect and he'll establish you. He'll strengthen you, he'll settle you, he'll give you his peace. To him be the glory and dominion forever and ever and ever. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Let me go to Joshua. What he said to Joshua at the start. Now we know that we've crossed over. Remember God commands us certain things. Jesus commands you to love. Jesus commands you to love yourself. Jesus commands you to love those who've hurt you. Jesus commands you to forgive. It doesn't matter if it's the most dangerous, horrible thing someone has done to you. Stop living your life blaming others, blaming something that was done to you, saying, well, and telling everyone your problems. Grow up in Jesus. Let go. You have to be quick to let go of offences. If you let that stuff inside of you, it will tear you to pieces. In your soul and in your mind, it becomes darkness. There is no darkness in God. You need to understand that. So remember what God said to Joshua. I have commanded you. Be strong, be of good courage. For unto this people shall you divide for the inheritance of the land which I have sworn to their fathers to give to them. Only you have to be strong. You have to be very courageous. You must observe to do everything according to the law which Moses, my servant, I've commanded him. That you don't turn to the right, that you don't turn to the left. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. Meditate in the word day and night. This is not just Old Testament. This is today. So have I not commanded you, be strong, be of good courage. Don't be afraid. Don't be worried. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you may go. So in this new season, remember, you are victorious. Remember when this great thing is, is in front of you, ahead of you. You're like, yes, I'm nearly there. Oh, I got this. I received this. Life is great. Remember, you need to be sharp. You need to have your eyes on the ball. You need to be wary. You're not walking around with a suspicious mind thinking everything's the devil. No, you're living your life. But you remember life is spiritual. The devil can come in all sorts of ways to just push you just like this. Push your button here. Set this up here. Cause this person to turn on you. All of a sudden your best friend's turned on you for no reason. All of a sudden your spouse, your husband, your wife's turned on you. They've changed. What are you going to do about it? Are you going to sit in the corner and cry? Are you going to say I'm not following this ministry anymore? They're not helping me. People are not there for me. Pity party. You need to drop that. And wake up. Grow up. It's the ability to endure. Endurance. Look at soldiers. I've shared this in different videos. I've always wanted to be in the army. But if you look at how they train. It's like they get broken first. You see the sergeant and he's shouting in their face. Come on, come on, keep going. What are you doing? Get up. Holy Spirit is a gentleman. But Holy Spirit can be firm as well. He does be with me. If for a second, if I think, oh no, oh, poor me. Oh no. All of a sudden, devil's like, you're this, you're that. You're not going to be able to do this. Holy Spirit's like, hey, don't listen. Remember who you are and he'll speak scripture to you sometimes it has to be firm for you to actually realize you see people don't understand when they're deceived you can be with the wrong person wrong relationship wrong friend you could be listening to the wrong voice telling you something you could be in a group somewhere and you think it's absolutely perfect fine have you ever been in a situation like that a boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever it is. You think they're the best thing. Oh, this is love. This is great. This is my best friend. 
and you've no idea that person is either cheating on you or your friend is deceiving you they're not your friend they're there for a specific reason or they're leading you the wrong way they've introduced you to something that you shouldn't be doing and you think oh but they're for me and then you turn on your family then you turn on your friends and it's all going wrong because you're not listening you need to listen the truth hurts sometimes because it can cause problems In James 1, 12, Blessed is the man that endures temptation, for when he's tried he shall receive a crown of life which the Lord has promised to him, to those who love him. Romans 5, 5, Not only do we glory in tribulations, do you shout and do you give thanks to God when you're going through hardship? Well, you should, because there's always victory. And when it gets tough, when it gets hard, when it gets difficult, you need to keep going. You need to say, okay, Lord, I need a strategy to get out of this. What do I do here? Why is this person acting this way? Why have I become like this? He'll show you exactly. He will always, always show you what the problem is, what the solution is. So don't be focused on all oh, the devil's been doing everything this year. Remember, God is in the detail. God does things sometimes. God has to purge us. So remember, not only do we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation works patience, tribulation, you come out stronger. Patience, experience, experience, hope. Jesus Christ is your hope. Even the Old Testament, New Testament, he says, I'm with you all of the way. You know, you could be alone right now. You could be in a very difficult situation right now. A time of confusion, a time of pain, a time of what do I do? What's happening? What's going to happen tomorrow? Are you going to sit with that mentality? Thinking that way? Or will you say, Lord, thank you. Thank you, you have something amazing for me. But that doesn't mean that you sit there and say, I will never leave my house. I'm just waiting on a miracle, an angel to appear, to knock on my door and show me the right way. I'm waiting on the Lord. No, you need to live your life. God does miracles. He does amazing things as we walk by faith. You see, there's a difference between the prophetic. The Lord will encourage us. He'll speak to us. He'll say, okay, just like this video, I need you to endure. I need you to be strong. I need you to understand who you are. That is why when people, at times when they get into difficulty, they run around looking for a word, and that is not what you should do. You're treading on the wrong ground when you do that. So what the world does, and even some Christians do, they turn to psychics, they turn to witchcraft, they turn to Satan. Because what the devil does with all that stuff, the tarot cards and all this stuff, he tells you bit by bit by bit, absolutely everything, with a course on it, by the way. So you're like, yes, this is going to happen. You're not walking by faith. You're not walking by faith, plus you've stepped over to the wrong side. Be careful. And also there's people out there who are speaking in the flesh, they're making things up with the wrong motive, even in the body of Christ. Be careful who you're listening to. And I'm talking about in your head as well, and what you're doing, what you're partaking in. It's so easy to be deceived. You could be deceived for a long time. It's just like someone in a marriage and someone has been cheating on them for such a long time. They hadn't got a clue. Simple things, small things or a situation. You know, the devil comes in different ways. He can cause you to forget things. He can poke, he can prod, he can do things. He can make you drop things. You need to understand be alert at this time. Be ready. Be strong for the birth. Be ready. 1 Corinthians 10, 13. There has no temptation taken you, which is common to man, but God is faithful. Always. Always on time. Always there. He won't suffer you to be tempted above all that you're able. You look at people and you say, how are you able to do that? Like, I wouldn't be able to do that. That's because they have the grace for a certain thing or certain 
child that was born to them or a certain situation. They have the grace. He's not going to tempt you even more than you can withstand. That is why I say you are stronger than you think. <laughs> if I could tell you the things that I went through this year, you'd probably laugh and think, how are you like still standing? Because even just times I'm like, God, how? And I can't even finish my sentence. I'm like, it was only you. It was only you that gave me the grace and the strength to endure that. Romans 15 and 4, for whosoever, things were for time were written for our learning that we through patience and comfort of scriptures might have hope. Patience and scriptures, you need to stay in the word of God. Galatians 6, 9, let us not be weary of doing well for in due season you will reap if you faint not, if you don't give up. So don't give up. You might have failed yesterday. It might have went wrong. It might have looked bad. You might have said the most horrible things. That was then. This is now. So move on. Let it go. Another important thing at this time. Take communion. Not just on Sunday. You can take it every day. Every second day. Spend that time with God. You need to spend time in worship. And I'm going to reveal. I'll probably put out that video next week. Um... For the new year and I reveal to you what God has been shown most of it is amazing it's it's supernatural but what the enemy is doing but most importantly who you are you're a warrior I am a princess warrior who are you what's your response write it down is you're a child of the most high God you're strong you're courageous put down a word even in the comments say I am I want to see you know who you are Philippians 3 14 I press toward you press toward the mark of the price for the high calling you press toward you run you might fall a few times running a race you might trip you might fall you might be sore and you're limping it along and you're like oh this is too painful where's the end but keep going child of God because you're doing amazing and God is with you. You need to understand. Don't forget Hebrews 12 too. You look to Jesus. The author. The finisher of your fate. For the joy that was set before him. He endured the cross. He didn't say. Okay. Just don't put the nail in yet. I'm, for, I'm not doing this for them. It's going to be too hard. Because I know what's going to happen. No. He said. Father your will be done. And he went on that cross and he died on that cross and he rose again and he's alive so he despised the shame that's what the devil tries to do he tries to bring the little voices the shame the condemnation the the pity party the poor you the failure from yesterday look at your family how are you anointed how are you going to succeed this course how are you going to get the money for this hmm? and that's the way he talks to you so you need to talk back with power and authority that you have. So there is a process, my brothers and sisters, prince warrior, princess warrior, whoever you are out there. The training has been difficult, has been tough. Lessons, mistakes along the way, all of us have made. But you are light. You are seated with Christ in heavenly places. You are more than a conqueror. This is not to say, oh yeah, look, I can do no wrong. No, this is who you are. This is who Jesus says you are. You are royalty. Not just people who sit in a palace. You. Take care of yourself. Take care of your soul. Your mind. Spend time with God. He loves you more than anyone, anything could ever love you. He doesn't give up on you. But you can give up on him and your destiny and your life and your family and the plan and purpose but you're not going to you continue on you rise up you rise you shine the glory of god is seen on you don't listen to the distractions of the devil and what he's doing what he's saying and i'm not talking about the news out there because that's probably going to get a bit worse as well so you need to be ready and you need to stand strong. Fight for your marriage, your children, 
pray, speak in tongues, fast, take communion, read scripture, believe scripture, believe God when he says he's going to do something. But most importantly, look after yourself, your mind. Tell someone about Jesus they need to know. Invite Jesus into your life if you don't know him. Repent of your sins. That means turn away, come away from the wrong thing, the wrong people, the wrong mindset. Addictions broken in Jesus' name. So Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for this word. I thank you, Lord, that you love us and you encourage us every single day, every single week by your spirit. We thank you, Lord, for this grace that is sufficient for us, for your princes, for your princesses out there, Lord, your mighty warriors in this army who you're raising up, Lord. I remove any lie, every deception the devil is trying to put there from them believing in a lie about themselves or the future. Open their eyes to see, Lord God Almighty. Give them the peace that they need, peace in their home, the solution, the strategy of what to do in the situation that they're in right now. We thank you for the open doors. We thank you for the financial blessings. We thank you for people you send to be the right voice in our life. We thank you for the divine connections. We thank you for the new kingdom relationships you're bringing into their lives, almighty God. Father God, I break everything, every distraction, every addiction, every lie, every spirit of heaviness and darkness that is trying to afflict your people. And I say in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up now, mighty warrior of God, into your calling. You can endure, you can endure because you are a child of the most high God and understand he is with you and that he loves you and you can do all things through Christ you can yes you can because you're strong you're courageous you're brave and Jesus Christ Yeshua HaMashiach loves you he is the God of Israel he is the God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob he is the ancient of days he is the king of kings he is wonderful Jesus he is the Prince of Peace he is your Lord he is your Savior he is your friend he is your father he is Abba daddy God he is your first love and he loves you so much so you wipe them tears away right now and get up child of God and keep going live your life do something do something for yourself for the family for others bless others smile and go out get dressed do your hair do something and go and live this life no matter what comes at you you're surrounded by a cloud of witnesses by angels and God is with you so you go and be the voice you go and tell others who are lost who are broken because that is your job here we're here to serve we're here to love so you go and do that in Jesus Christ's name because you are a soldier so I love you I pray that that has blessed you in Jesus' name. Amen. I'll see you again very soon. Have a great day.